Hello, my name is Dr. Cheryl Gooden. I'm a pediatric anesthesiologist and associate professor of anesthesiology and pediatrics at Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York. Today, we're going to discuss a recent intubation of a two-month-old, 3.7 kilogram male who presented for inguinal hernia repair under general anesthesia. We use the GlideScope Cobalt AVL with a number one stat. In some cases, placing the patient in a sniffing position may improve the view. Using a shoulder roll is another option that can help, particularly for neonates and infants. In this case, the view of the esophagus is a good indicator that the blade has been inserted too deep. When this occurs, backing out the laryngoscope approximately one to one and a half centimeters should improve the view and enable successful advancement of the endotracheal tube. External laryngeal manipulation may help. Note the prominent arytenoids, which are common in infants. The cricoid was the difference. The yes, it was. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that's how we learn. Hopefully this didn't come out. Okay. So here are some tips that I would like to share for successful use of the GlideScope Pediatric Video Laryngoscope. Insert the blade midline. Do not sweep the tongue. Avoid going too deep with the blade as this can worsen the view. Use a semi-rigid stylet to shape the endotracheal tube. Insert the endotracheal tube parallel to the blade enabling successful placement into the glottis. And of course, practice is important. And it's a good idea to start with a normal pediatric airway.